Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, I got Amir Khan coming out on TheBoxingScene.com with an interview that I actually found very interesting. Again, when I saw this interview, I was like, dude, you got to give this homie respect. But it says in this interview, Amir Khan, Hearn is pissed off but I control my own destiny, quote. And it goes on to state in the interview, former world champion Amir Khan is not bothered that his own promoter, Eddie Hearn, is angered by the Bolton boxer's decision to bypass a domestic blockbuster with Kell Brook. Hearn, who promotes Brook as well, has been pursuing that fight for years and thought he was very close to a deal. But then Khan, who inked the three-fight deal with Hearn in early 2018, signed on for a world title clash with WBO welterweight king Terrence Crawford. It goes on to state later in the article. Hearn's goal in signing Khan was to finalize a bout with Brooke. There was only one fight left on the deal, but Khan is open to the idea of working with Hearn in the future. Khan defeated Phil LaGreco and Samuel Vargas in 2018, while Crawford won bouts with Jose Benavidez and Jeff Horn. The contest between Khan and Crawford takes place on April 20th at a venue to be determined and on ESPN pay-per-view. Eddie is pissed off that I'm not fighting Brooke, but I'll admit that this was one of the hardest decisions of my career. The fight with Kel was very close to being made. In the end, the opportunity to submit my legacy by boxing for a third world title against a man rated among the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world was too good to turn down, Khan said to Daily Mail. The deal for Crawford was a guaranteed $5 million with pay-per-view upside. Hearn has stated in several interviews that his offer for the bout with Brook was for more money. According to Khan, the offer for Brook was more, but not by much. It was a bit more money, but no, not much more, Khan said. I'm not saying I won't do more fights with Eddie. He's been good to me, so why not? But fortunately, I'm not one of the many fighters who have to do what their promoters tell them. I control my own destiny, quote. Now, when I read this article with Amir Khan, the only thing that I could say was, dude, you got my friggin' respect right there. You control your own friggin' destiny. No matter what's going on in your promotion team, no matter who you want to fight, you're not letting nobody give you no little hand-me-down fights. You're not letting nobody tell you who you need to fight or what you want to do. Because personally, Terrence Crawford would be a harder fight for Amir Khan than Kell Brook. But at the same time, it's like, dude, Amir Khan don't give no F, man. Because the one thing that I respect about Amir Khan, it don't matter who you are, dude, he will friggin' give you that smoke. He went up and wait to friggin' fight Canelo Alvarez. I mean, this dude will friggin' give anybody the smoke, dog. The only thing that I never really liked about Amir Khan, though, is that he would put his career on stall just so he could be trying to wait for big money fights. And when you got a career, especially a career like boxing, you can't be putting nothing in boxing on hold because you're not getting any younger. You're only getting older. So you need to be trying to fight all of the best dudes that you can, not just trying to get the biggest money fights. But I can understand that he wants the big money fights. He feels like his name is big enough to where he can get these big money fights. And even in this right here, it states that he's guaranteed $5 million with pay-per-view upside. And it's kind of crazy because he says, I control my own destiny. And you got to look at it like this. This dude is going up against Crawford, who is the WBO champion. He's the 147-pound champion. He's probably the number one pound-for-pound -pound best boxer in the world. And he is the friggin' upside in this damn fight. He's getting a guaranteed $5 million with pay-per-view upside. Crawford's getting a guaranteed $3 million with whatever else he's getting. So with this dude saying, I control my own destiny, Crawford needs to be looking at Amir Khan like, Yo, you need to be in control of your own destiny, Terrence Crawford, because you only getting three million and he's getting a guaranteed five million. It's like, huh, that's kind of friggin' weird right there, man, when you should be the upside in this friggin' fight. I really respected Amir Khan when I saw this article that he's not letting Eddie Hearn push him into a fight that he doesn't want to get. He wants to get the best fight that's going to cement his legacy. And a fight with Terrence Crawford is definitely going to cement his legacy a lot more than a fight with Kell Brook. And even in this fight, win or lose, he can still go into the Kell Brook fight and still be able to get a payday off of that fight. Because if you lose to Terrence Crawford, it's not like you friggin' lost to a friggin' nobody or something like that. You lost to the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So going into 
into a fight with Kell Brook afterwards, it's not going to harm your friggin' reputation, dude. And when I saw this article, another dude that I thought about was friggin' Anthony Joshua. Control your own destiny. You're in a division where you are one of the top dudes in that division, where you got a bunch of other killers in that division that are trying to give you that smoke. It's you, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and Luis Ortiz. You got the four top dudes in that division, and it seems like everybody else wants to fight each other, but you ain't trying to really fight these dudes because you're freaking lowballing these dudes with some BS ass offers. And that top four almost reminds me of the top four back in the day when you had friggin' Thomas Hitman Hearns, Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, where you had these four dudes going back to back, just all fighting each other, seeing who's the best. And we need to bring that back in the friggin' heavyweight division where you got these top four dudes and they all need to be friggin' fighting each other, win or lose, to see who the friggin' best is. Just because you get a loss doesn't mean you're friggin' no good, man. Floyd Mayweather is the one that made that zero so highly touted. But just because you lose doesn't make any difference on who you are as a fighter dude when you're fighting the top dudes somebody is bound to lose when you have one person fighting another person and you're both great fighters somebody gotta lose but anthony joshua control your own friggin destiny fight the best friggin dudes so you can give us fans what we want to see and you can give yourself what you want to see knowing who is that top dude in that heavyweight division all right man so i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments make sure to hit me up in the comment section i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at your boy